awesome Ashby Eats. Uh, I think we're going to start this off with uh, Monday Fun Day. I know you could say Sunday Fun Day. But as far as I'm concerned, on this channel, we can do whatever we want. As long as it's in the name of self-love, right? Okay, so. Monday Fun Day. Today we are making gluten-free lemon marmalade, lemon orange marmalade mini cupcakes. Yes. You should not eat all of these. This is for a party situation. <laughs> So uh, this is sort of like some recipes um, this week are going to be about going to gatherings and hanging out with friends and um, it's summertime and a lot of us can get back out there and be social again. I know we're really excited about that. So the word of the day is celebration, which is one of my favorite words. I love celebrating. Um, ask anybody that knows me. Uh, my celebration uh, vibe has changed recently. But I'm still somebody who really likes to have a good time all the time and bring that sort of happy energy and celebration to any event or gathering. So the definition of celebration, the action of making one's pleasure at an important event or occasion by engaging in enjoyable and social activity. And I'm a fan of pleasure, I'm a fan of social activities, um, and I'm a huge fan of celebration. And it's really important that we celebrate ourselves, um, you know, one of the sayings that, uh, that we say a lot in the program I'm doing is it's not perfection, it's progress, right? Progress, not perfection. And I think it's really easy for us to be super hard on ourselves. Um, so any small goal that we accomplish, whether it's in weight loss or in the work environment or in life or organizing or cleaning or whatever, any small accomplishment should be celebrated. And in that celebration, we sort of take a moment to appreciate and love ourselves and others um, for their value and their worth. And everything in life has value and worth. And so today, I just encourage you to spend every day celebrating a piece of yourself um, every day, right? Like, I made mini cupcakes so that you can just eat one at a time. So think of this mini cupcake as a token of love. Since I used to associate food with love all the time, this is easy for me. Um, and this is a very healthy cupcake and we're going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but, um, you know, we should look at it like we deserve to give ourselves a little bit of love every day, if not a lot of love. So if you can just manage to give yourself a little bit of love every day, and over the course of these videos, you're gonna see ways to do that and how to help yourself learn how to do that. I'm gonna, I'm very excited about all the different content I wanna make. I'm glad it started out with me cooking things because I think food is important and a gateway for me to communicate uh, to the world. But I'm looking at this little mini muffin as a token of love that I want to give to others, which is why I'm bringing them to a social event. And uh, it's a good way to think of a little bit of love for everybody and a little bit of love for yourself every day. And so with that thought, let's make some delicious um, gluten-free lemon orange marmalade mini cupcakes. Yeah. Okay, so inside you have... Um, Three, I put three cups of gluten-free all-purpose flour, okay? So you could use almond flour and tapioca flour and coconut flour, but um, it's easy with the, the gluten-free all-purpose flour because you can sort of make the re recipe like with regular flour. I, don't I do not like regular flour, refined sugar, any of that stuff. It's overly processed and it's not good for us, right? And I wanted to bring some delicious mini cupcakes to a gathering, um, and the best way to do that was to, for me, so I could enjoy them too, make them gluten-free and a little healthy. So I'm gonna tell you how we did that. We've got the three, three cups of gluten-free flour. We've got a half a jar of orange marmalade, also gluten-free. One teaspoon of xanthian gum. It's optional. If your uh, gluten-free flour already has it in it, then you don't need to add it. So remember that. Two sticks of organic grass-fed butter. I put in a half a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of stevia, and a fourth of a cup of coconut sugar. And that's just because I ran out of stevia and regular sugar. Although I do love coconut sugar, so I'm going to try to impl implement that in more of my recipes. Uh, we've got a teaspoon of uh, vanilla, we've got three eggs, cage-free and organic, um, and we have uh, a, two teaspoons of baking powder. I also recommend using gluten-free baking powder if you are shopping and have it. 
And then um, for fun, I added two big tablespoons of ground flaxseed because that's really good and helps your digestive system. It's a really great uh, it's a little something extra to add into the batter, which you can't taste, and it's really good for you. Then I added about a half a uh, or a teaspoon of lemon zest that I zested from a real lemon, um, and then we put that all in the blender and we mix it up. And I add a little bit, um, put it in the food processor, and I add a little bit of uh, the flour mixture over time. We added all the dry ingredients together in a bowl first, right? And that's your gluten-free powder, um, flour powder, <laughs> your xanthian uh, gum uh, powder, uh, the baking soda, um, and then I added the ground flaxseed. And then once you have that in the blender and let that go for about <clears throat> five minutes so it's, it's turned up real good, you can use, um, I used mini muffin trays and little delicious adorable um, wrappers so that when I do bring them to an event it's disposable and it's easy trash and then there's not a big cleanup afterwards um, and I just sprayed a little bit of avocado you can use olive oil whatever little spray coconut oil and eat at the bottom of each one so it's really easy to take the wrapper off um, when somebody is enjoying it yay <laughs> so good even better coffee Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Now, because they are healthy, they are not chock full of sugar. So, because I'm bringing them to an event and I like to write on things, I have also gluten free. We have this delicious cookie icing and blue, right? And so I'm going to write letters on it for my friend. Um, but I also want to share that this is gluten free and again these aren't super sweet because I'm making things that are healthy so I just figured at the event if there's people that love sugar and are really looking for that sugar rush I can write the letters of what I want to say on them and then I'll bring these back up style to the event and people can write what they want on the extra ones or just eat the icing straight from the back. All right, okay. <laughs> I'll add a picture of all the writing at the end. Um, I put them in the oven. If you put one mini tray of muffins in the oven, it only needs 10 to 12 minutes, but I put four trays in at the same time, and so it took about 15, 20 minutes. So just make sure you're keeping an eye on them because they will rise. Um, and then I added the orange marmalade, just in case you're curious, like why does she <laughs> add a half a jar of jelly to <laughs> um, a cupcake mix? Because when you put a jelly in there, same with like a, any kind of bread, that glistening comes to the top of it and I didn't want to make a whole separate frosting I, you know I want to write letters on it but I didn't want it to be super sweet so that is why I added the marmalade to the batter because I wasn't planning on making um, like a big whipped frosting cupcake top and this way it still has a nice little glistening you know sugar top and uh, is really healthy um, and now we can eat more than one because who doesn't want more than one summer treat in the summertime so I hope you make these at home. Please remember to hit like and subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so you can see every time I come up with a new recipe or a new video on this channel. Um, I'm talking about weight loss. I'm talking about uh, self-love. I feel like I've got lots of stories to tell you guys. So I'm going to try to schedule that in. My mom just came to visit. So I'm going to do a chicken piccata recipe this week as well. But she didn't want to be on the camera so I'm just going to talk about it. It was delicious, so good. I forgot how much I like chicken piccata, and that's gluten-free too. I do make a lot of gluten-free things. Um, and I'm just excited to be here, and I'm so excited for the future, and I'm so excited about all the things that I want to share with, with you all. Um, yeah, and so these are my gorgeous tray of mini muffins, and uh, I'm going to get my writing on, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and love yourself, and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.